Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when more content is posted. In today's video, I'm just doing a little bit of a clean with me and I'll show you how I store my ground beef in freezer packs and I am also going to be making fish taco salad bowls. So stay tuned for that as well. I'm starting out in my kitchen today, just doing the dishes. I do them at least twice a day and they usually always look like this. Um, usually I do the dishwasher about once a day. So we're gonna start with those. I'm watching this video of me putting the silverware away and those knives are driving me crazy. And I couldn't believe that I closed the drawer with the knives like that. Is it driving you crazy? You'll have to let me know. You're about to see like four different camera angles while I'm doing the dishes. I was trying to get the right picture for you guys so you weren't just seeing random things. So bear with me for that and it turns out just fine. I will never smile for you. You made your bed, now lie in it, baby. Rest your head, let it dream about me. Cause I'm fed, fed. On this particular day, for some reason, I had a lot of utensil items that needed to be washed, and I felt like it was taking me forever to get the dishes done. I don't put some things in my dishwasher just because I'm particular, and I feel like the dishwasher can wear and tear things out faster than hand washing. <laughs> You'll have to let me know if there are things that you don't put in your dishwasher. Like knives, I feel like they're not supposed to go in the dishwasher. Anything wooden definitely should not go in the dishwasher. Pots and pans, not supposed to go in the dishwasher. And then just some random plastic items I have. Now I'm starting to wash my bottles 
and I used the Dr. Brown's bottle, so there are a lot of pieces that need to be washed, and this takes me a long time, I feel like, when, especially when all of my bottles are dirty. That is, what, four pieces per bottle, five pieces per bottle that need to be washed with each bottle? Yeah, it's, it's a long process sometimes. I try and stay up on it, but, you know, life happens. Does anybody else think it is satisfying to watch somebody clean their sink? Just go from a dirty sink to a clean sink in the process in the middle? Like, I don't know why I enjoy it as much as I do. It's super silly, I know. But to watch the scrubbing and then watch the rinsing of all the bubbles go down the drain, it just, it's a good feeling. just going to be straightening up my countertops, putting some things away and wiping them down. There's a few things that are out every day, no questions asked, like my daughter's tablet and one of her stuffed animals. They are always on the counter. I always have to put them away. So I'm just straightening up the counters, wiping them down. And I didn't need to do the floors because my husband did that for me not long before this. hot zone in our area so I pretty much just try and keep it cleared all the time and tidy it up every day. I had to just set some things aside for my husband to take downstairs for me. When I was wiping this table off and I noticed my daughter had gotten paint on it when she was doing some arts and crafts one day. Fortunately, the paint comes off super easy and all I use is the Mrs. Myers cleaner, the multi-purpose spray, and I love the lemon verbena scent. And here in our living space, we have dogs that are always on the couch, so they're always covered in blankets because I just don't like the mess on my couch. And I pick up these toys, I swear, 10 times a day. If you have little ones, you know exactly what I mean. Next, I'm going to show you my vacuum sealer and how I portion out my ground beef before I put it in the freezer. Um, I used a food saver. I love this thing. It lets me keep my meat for longer periods of time because it will not get freezer burnt from being vacuum sealed. So first with the vacuum sealer, I have to pre-portion out my bag sizes 
and you don't have to do that you can buy them already in specific sizes but I like to cut them myself and just make my own sizes that way there's no waste and I know exactly what I'm getting so first I'm going to start with I cut the bag sizes that I wanted and then I'm going to seal one side of those bags so if you can see here whenever you get it it comes separated so you have to go through and seal one side before you put your product in it to the good days so I always go through and write on the bag what I'm putting in it before I put the product in it because uh, otherwise it doesn't really work that way so first I go in and I put all the meat into the bags kind of smush it in there as best as I can and then I wash my hands so that I'm not contaminating the outside of the bag and then I will kind of manipulate the meat inside of the bag to make it flat and evenly spaced out and try and take out all the air bubbles from the corners because when I do it this way it keeps it better it falls way better oh and here is my trick I I stole some bubbles from my daughter it was empty when I took it not a big deal and I always place it under the little bag there before I vacuum seal it because when you put it in there it tends to kind of slide out and it won't seal properly sometimes so that's that's my only thing with it but I suggest even a paper towel roll would probably work but once you've manipulated it in the bag and then sealed it up you have this really great vacuum sealed flat piece of ground beef it's, I, I put mine as pound a piece and then you can put them in your freezer and I always keep them flat in my freezer I kind of file my um, meats and things like that in my freezer for better organization because I can fit more that way so I'm manipulating them and then I'm sealing them up and they will be ready to go for the freezer the sorrows, this is a mistake I know about tomorrow I don't want to fight no more because I don't feel the need no more no just want to make it stop So next I'm going to show you how to make some fish taco bowls and so I'm using a white cod fish and it's frozen um, it's kind of funny right here I get them out I struggle terribly to get them open they are frozen solid and they have that little liquid collector pad thing on the bottom of them and you'll see me I'm struggling and struggling to get the package open and then I give up because I can't get the little pad off of the fish either so you don't see all that but it does get in the oven and get cooked for the end and you're supposed to take two tablespoons of taco seasoning and melted butter and you'll spread that over the top and you'll put those in the oven at 400 degrees uh, for about 25 minutes and then once I'm done doing that and getting it in the oven I'll start making a slaw that you use for the salad it's a sweet and spicy slaw is what they call it but I leave out the spicy part because I'm not a big spicy fan so I'm starting out with um, a half a cup of ranch and then I will also use two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and two tablespoons of honey and then it calls for one to two tablespoons of sriracha but I leave that out and then I do a teaspoon of lime juice and just some salt and pepper for taste and you'll whisk that together really good and you'll just pour that over your coleslaw mix and that's your slaw that you'll use in the salad and you'll put that in the fridge because your vinegar will help break down some of the slaw and other ingredients and it will just coat the the coleslaw mixture better maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it so I tasted this law sauce and I didn't like it so I add a little bit of monk fruit sweetener to it and that really helped it out. It was just a little bit too citrusy for me. It's too late not to let it go and that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first 
one Choose all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go Next I'm going to be starting on the dressing for the actual fish taco salad. So in the fish taco salad it has the fish, the slaw, it also has cauliflower rice and then this dressing with avocado and then you can sprinkle some lime on it at the end. But the actual dressing for this calls for sour cream, lime juice, honey, milk, and salt. And you need about a quarter cup of sour cream or Greek yogurt. Either one works fine. I have sour cream. You'll want a one and a half teaspoons of lime juice, a teaspoon of honey, and then just some salt and pepper and a tablespoon of milk and just mix that together really good. I will never smile for you, smile for you, smile for you, smile for you. I will never cry for you, cry for you, cry for you, cry for you. I can take this anymore. You say we're done. So here's the finished product. This is what I ate for dinner. It was so good. I put it together with some coleslaw and then you want to add cauliflower rice, the fish on top, and some avocado with the dressing that we made for it. It was really good and delicious. You can even add lime wedges if you want to. Um, but yeah, it was super simple and really good. Thanks again for watching with me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Bye!